Hello. Today is March 25th. Today, we are actually in San Diego. I haven't been to California probably for like four years or so now since the pandemic and everything happened. It feels really good to be here. I'm here for a work trip, so not going to vlog the entire thing because of privacy concerns, but wanted to take you guys along with me for at least some of the personal things that I'm planning to do here. I think today is going to be my only meals where I kind of have to worry about where I'm going to get food. I hopped off of my flight. It is now 1 p.m. here in California. San Diego. I am in front of the steamy piggy. I was looking for some soup dumplings. They are something that I try to eat every time I come to the West Coast because y'all be having way better soup dumps than we do. Plus, I'm by myself, so I figured that this would be a good meal to solo dine. Not really though, because I'll probably end up eating like too many dumplings, but we'll see. All right, let's go. That was really good. Soup dumplings lacked soup, but that bow was fire. Wow, doesn't get better than that. I just got some dessert. just finished the dessert. That was actually pretty good, but the only thing was, was that it had like the mango skin on it. And I did try to eat the whole kind of like dessert with the mango skin and it was not the move. So I ended up just taking the skin off. But it was really cool. That mango was brulee. I've never seen anything like that. And yeah, very tasty, not too sweet, which I love. So and now for the big event, I'm going to drive about an hour out from the San Diego airport to the retreat center where our event is going to be hosted. Better get a move on because traffic will be building up. I believe track it is at 4 p.m. at this place. So let's get it. Okay, I didn't know that I needed to have a little rejuvenation. <laughs> this room is so pretty, so let's room tour this first. So this is the entranceway right when you walk in. You do have a lot of natural lighting and I will probably close these windows so no one can watch me sleep at night, but I do like that, you know, if you want some soft natural lighting, you can easily have this. Got a nice little clothing rack as well as a dresser drawer. Just loving how minimal and pretty and cozy this whole setup is. Don't mind my jacket, I threw it all on the bed right away, making myself at home. Two gorgeous queen size beds. Got my luggage in over here, but you have a nice little sitting area. Cute little closet. Oh nice, this is good. Perfect for today. Then over here, I got a little desk area, which is perfect because I definitely have to do some work while I am here. 
have another second doorway entry. I do like this just because the room is pretty big and looks like I can pick and choose when I want to leave and where. This is locked. I'm pretty sure it connects to another room or a closet. Okay, and the bathroom is super interesting. Oh, great. It's like light on. The Oaks used to be a youth retreat center, which is why there are several bathroom stalls. It's being kind of more for like a dormitory kind of feel. Look, I have three showers. Which shower should I shower in? All the showers have a little stool with a towel. You have like ADA accessibility stalls. And then you got a normal stall. Very nice. Love when the hotel, wherever you're staying has these. These, I always just forget them. And it's just really nice that they have. I wonder what ceremony home is. I might unpack what I'm going to wear tomorrow just so that it's very easy to take out. I got my steamer in case like things are really wrinkly. I'm going to unpack just a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and walk around the property before people actually get here. Packing essentials. This is the property, and then this is literally the room that I'm staying in. This is my view coming right out of the door. Gosh, it's just so pretty. Let's go walk around. This property is gorgeous. There's a lot to do here. I wish I could spend my life here. Mm -hmm. 